Hello and welcome to the PowerPoint on evaluation as a research design. This is Dr. Moyer for FCS 5470 and this is going to be a pretty quick PowerPoint but I do want for the class to understand that the evaluation method that we go over for this class follows um, the research process pretty closely. The similarities between the two both originate with a question or a problem. Both require the clear articulation of goals. Both follow a specific plan of procedure. Both are diverse and multifaceted. Both attempt to describe and understand relationships and trace out causal sequences. Both make specific recommendations for action and both disseminate findings to audiences. So they are alike in this, these ways. In the ways that they're different, the major difference between the two is in that first bullet you see on the PowerPoint. Um, research sets out to prove while evaluation sets out to improve. And I have mentioned this before about improvement. I think you guys probably get the picture, but it's important to understand that the whole point of conducting an evaluation is to make improvements where research is not always the case. Oftentimes you're just trying to understand an issue, describe an issue. You're not necessarily trying to improve anything. Uh, the next two differences, research is generalized to a population and it's important that every process is recorded because you want to be able to replicate research so that you can show that it wasn't a fluke or um, a chance finding. And evaluation is more specific. You can't always generalize it to a larger population. Sometimes you can only generalize it to the program participants that are being evaluated. Um, research is also disclosed for critique. It's one of the ways that we get published. You have to submit research to um, some type of panel of, of your peers that review and determine whether or not it's high quality research. Research is also guided by theory. There always has to be a theory at some point um, in anything you do. With evaluation, that's not always the case. You don't always have a theory that you're using. Uh, many times you might, but you don't have to. Um, and also, research, uh, I'm sorry, evaluation is guided by stakeholders' needs. And we'll talk more about stakeholders in another PowerPoint, but somebody initiates the need for the evaluation. We talked about how this is the evaluand. And it's these people that have an investment somehow in the evaluation. And there are lots of people that have different types of investments. But that's what guides the evaluation process not um, a theory, or even a critical assumption, which is the last bullet in the research column. When we say accepts criti critical assumptions, we're accepting things that other researchers have already proven or accepting statistical assumptions, etc. So those are the dif differences and similarities between the two. It is important that you guys really understand Research sets out to prove and evaluation sets out to improve. That's the major difference and I can't stress it enough. Okay.